ABC 10 News at 5 starts now. The Navy is now trying to recover the fighter jet that crashed into the water off the San Diego based USS Carl Vinson. It happened Monday in the South China Sea, injuring seven sailors. Our ABC 10 News reporter Sophia Hernandez talked to a local expert about why recovering that plane is so important right now. Sophia. Steve, any crash, this one being no exception, the Navy and the Marine Corps are going to want to know exactly what happened to be able to prevent it from happening again. Now, this is the first time that an F 35 has crashed into the ocean, and all eyes are going to be looking to see who will find it and when. These are always unexpected. Jim Kidrick, the president and CEO of the San Diego Air and Space Museum, says it could take anywhere from 30 to 120 days before the Navy finds the multi-purpose fighter attack plane, known primarily for its impressive stealth capabilities, making it virtually invisible to enemy radar. Any nation would like to have someone else's airplane, especially a new technology airplane such as the 35. The Navy says the airplane was attempting to land on the aircraft carrier, the USS Carl Vinson. The plane crashed onto the flight deck and fell in the water. Certainly just the fall, you know, which is about 65 to 70 feet to the ocean, is going to affect some sort of damage to the airplane and then, of course, the saltwater intrusion. The plane now with damages unknown at the bottom of China's seas. This is where you get into the politics of it in the South China Sea and what China considers to be their area. Uh, compared to uh, uh, international ocean space. We want to ensure that other countries like China know, okay, that the seas are free and that we can be there also with other, other nations. Kidrick does not believe China will attempt to recover the aircraft, but because of its technology, there is speculation they may try. In some cases, of course, they're going to look at the surface materials, you know, what the airplane is actually made of. OK, but also they're going to want to look at the internal avionics packages and, you know, what does this airplane have that they don't know about? Right now, it's not known what caused the plane to fail, which is why recovery of the vessel is imperative. It's all pieces to a puzzle now. They've had an accident. Uh, they want to know what caused the accident. How do they prevent it? And it's uh, it's all part of a process. The extent of the sailors injuries has not yet been released. Now, Kidrick believes the Navy is capable in recovering this F-35. However, there are many factors to consider. The water's depth and being able to locate it while the USS Carl Vinson is still moving. Now, this aircraft in specific does not have a beacon on it. However, the seat in which the pilot was in, which in this case was ejected, does. Reporting live, Sophia Hernandez, ABC 10 News. Sophia, thank you. And